Hello, this is Diane Blake again. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to talk about some books that I made. They're small books, and this won't be a long um, video. But there was something interesting that I just sort of created on my own initiative and thought patterns just because I love tea. And since this time, since I created these way a few years back, there has been some other artists that have been working with tea bags. And this was my attempt at it and uh, just my interpretation. Now, both of these books are um, Japanese stab stitch books. And let's start with my paper garden book here. For those of you who know that I like to do um, splatter work and do details, I did this cover that way. There's splatter, paint splatters on here, and I've doodled flowers into that. This is just an embellishment that I bought at a store. And this is a piece of paper from a um, cardstock. Now, the paper that I'm using for the inside covers is just um, paper, cop um, copier paper or printer paper that I got crinkled up and dipped into uh, water, into not watercolor, but uh, uh, diluted acrylic paint. And so that I love doing that. It gives it kind of a texture. Now this is tracing paper that I have splattered with paint or sprayed with paint. And now in this book, I used photographs, my own photographs. I love using my own art in my other, in my books. In journals so and this is just one of this is printed onto tea bag paper yes it's tea bag paper if you see closely let me see if you can see the edges here maybe not so much there you can see the edges here is the tea paper where I took the bags apart and I have a formula that I use so I wouldn't forget how to do this I keep a book that's called layouts and recipes and whenever I've got um, you know, watercolor paper prep, uh, just all of these different things that I've done. Um, gel skins, tea paper transfer using water. And so there's just ways that I've, in using mediums. So I have all of these little recipes and I try to keep them because I forget how to do these beautiful things. And yet I don't want to forget. So anyway, I'll just show you some of the, the beautiful pictures. In between each picture, I put tracing paper, because if they're on top of each other, you really can't see the images. These were tomatoes and peppers. This is a flower. I like the fact that when I put a medium on these, it makes them all kind of diffused and kind of I don't know, really soft looking, and there's actually a little bit of shine to them. And this is a thistle. And this paper was, this tea bag had more yellow in it, it wasn't so white, so that gave it a little more of a vintagey feel and look to it. This isn't a tulip, but it's like a tulip. And I just really like the colors in that. And these some little tiger lilies. I think they're tiger lilies, yeah. And this is just some other flowers that I can't remember what they are. Now, one of the things I learned and I took a class on how to make handmade books and one of the things they told me to do was to keep track of, put to document your books. And so this was made in April 12, 2012. And these are all of the things that I used in it and the type of binding and the size and all of that good stuff. So anyway, that's the first book. I used a sim similar idea on this book, but I decided to do something a little bit different. I do like to cut things out and stick things on, so this is out of some of that craft paper. Got the same idea with that paper and the tracing paper. I love the colors on that. 
Now, although this is tracing paper, what I did was I created, I sewed little pockets here, and then I took some like vellum and colored the tabs to match the photo. And I stuck that in here so if I wanted to journal on that, that journaling text would show through the back of that paper. This is a sunset and those are cliff rows. In the area I live, there's a lot of cliff rows. You have to go online and figure out what a cliff rose is, but I just really love the saturation of that color. This is a pinyon pine, again, in my neighborhood with this beautiful Arizona sunset. This was a snowy day near the Peavine Trail where I live that has a riparian area and it's got beautiful trail that I like to walk almost daily. <laughs> this picture is of a tree that had snow on it and it came out kind of blurry, but I love it. I love the softness of it, the silveriness of it, just really pretty. This is a dish that had a plant that was growing over it. This is snow and it was a dip, it dripping into that. And I just love the way that turned out. That dish no longer is broke apart many years ago. And this is a um, green barn in Iowa. And I just love, you know, abandoned buildings and stuff and the weeds are growing up. And I just thought it was beautiful. And these are some berries. And again, the page that talks about how this was created. And that's all there is to this book. Again, if you like um, my video, please thumbs up or and or subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, just comment to me. I'll be glad to try to answer those because I know there's going to be people want to know how I did that. And I'll have to look it up on my little uh, recipe book. Anyway, thank you again and hope to see you soon. Bye.